that I got out of this city. All I really need is a girl and a gun. That's the origins of Durban Poison. This is more about a story of regret and memory and loss and the whole thing of like, oh shit, if only that didn't happen. And it happens to all of us in life. You know, if only I hadn't parked there, or if only I hadn't had that extra drink. Hi, I'm Andrew Wersdale. I'm the director, writer and director, actually, of Durban Poison. Uh, Durban Poison originated after I made a movie in 1987 that was banned called Shot Down, which is very abstract and sort of experimental. So the way it's structured now, it's quite playful. It's a police investigation into the murders. The movie begins, four people have been killed, this couple go back to the scenes of the crime with the police. And as that happens, you flash back and you learn about their relationship and how those people ended up to be killed. And then there's a twist. It's been a landmark festival with a good report. Uh, my fall, first film after 27 years. And it, it's always fun. It's always totally cool and great and chilled and this whole new thing by the coast is really wonderful. And I think Peter's done an incredible job uh, because he's not dispassionate. He's a passionate guy. It's cool to be in Durban. It doesn't have that snobby shit that Cape Town has. It's got a much more chilled vibe. And the Durban poison's really good.